How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Hitaka Brothers Podcast. I'm Joseph, and today we're going to be talking about something very, very interesting. So if you all haven't heard, Jujutsu Kaisen has kind of been going through some controversy lately, especially with its past few episodes because of something going around called ghosting. So pretty much, if you don't know what ghosting is, I'm going to get into that. But before we do, please do make sure to subscribe, comment down below, and leave a like if you haven't already. I love you guys. It means a lot. and helps the algorithm get you uh, get you some of our content. So if you want to see some more spicy content, let me know. And please do, uh, yeah, comment your thoughts. Not, not that kind of spicy. Oh, God, that was kind of weird. All right, so pretty much, guys, if you haven't heard, Jujutsu Kaisen has been going through this thing called ghosting, which, if you do not know what it is, is pretty much when these frames sort of kind of are blurred and a little disoriented. I kind of got a definition here, so let's, let me show you to show you. So pretty much, ghosting just refers to frames of animation blurring into each other during a fast period sequence, uh, giving a visual effect similar to swear smear frames. Oh my god. However, one key difference between the two is that smear frames are intentional and have their blur isolated to one single frame. So pretty much... A lot of people were upset because in a lot of scenes specifically let me just pull it up real quick oh man that's, that's that's we're not doing that but yeah so specifically in a couple scenes such as this one um yeah it's been the, the fight scenes are kind of basically a little blurred and a little smeared and a lot of people are just kind of a little upset about it because it's kind of ruining the quality of the animation and i think what a lot of people are upset about is specifically is that this arc is so hyped up and so incredible see right here oh, let me, sorry let me try and pause it so yeah right here as you can see you see how the frames are like kind of blurry ish but like for an extended period sequence it's basically just kind of ruining the quality of the whole effect of the animated fight which a lot of people seem to be upset by fairly so so this has actually led to a lot of people getting upset and getting really upset with Country Roll, actually, um, with Jujutsu Kaisen saying that the quality is not as good as other MAPPA projects and that it should be getting all the attention right now that it deserves. And, you know, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. It's kind of a mixed bag in a weird position to be in if you're MAPPA and um, Crunchy Roll, because obviously there's so many projects that MAPPA is picking up. But personally, I, I don't really see the huge issue with it. I mean, yeah, the quality hasn't been the best in those small little sequences, but overall, I still think Crunchyroll and Jujutsu Kaisen have been doing a great job. I think that so far the episodes have been looking really well besides these couple of tiny scenes. I haven't really stood out to me, honestly. I didn't even know this was that big of an issue until I heard about it on Twitter and people talking about it. So this has led to a lot of fans going on and already re-kind of animating it themselves and working harder to um, get the episode that they kind of want from the community. And this has led to a lot of a divide between anime fans about if they should just wait to watch it for, for this kind of new fixed content version or if they should just continue watching the arc. And personally, I think it's a little... I don't know, it's a little interesting, but it's, it's a little ridiculous, man. I mean, I get it that this is what, you know, MAPPA should be doing, or not should be doing, I guess that's not the right word, but what is expected and what we're actually getting. And I think people need to understand that, I mean, it's very hard animating and that, you know, it's, it takes in a lot of effort and a lot of work. And it's not always going to be perfect, especially with MAPPA taking on so many projects. Like, I mean, yeah, we got Hell's Paradise, Chainsaw Man, um, Jujutsu Kaisen, One Punch Man Season 3. There's so much stuff that they're working on. I think Vinland Saga they're also doing as well. Um, yeah, it's so much stuff, and obviously it's not going to be perfect, but I think still overall the quality has not been terrible, and I think people are overreacting just a slight bit. I mean, yeah, if you're looking through Twitter, Twitter has not really shown, at least from what I've seen, not too many clips of this actually happening. I think I've seen at least five or six different sequences. Um, of it having this ghosting dimming effect and I honestly don't think that's bad. It's really not that much um, Still overall all the fights have been incredible I mean just this previous arc with the hidden inventory arc the animation was really really good So I don't get what people are um, Upset about but then again, it's Twitter people are gonna overreact a little bit But personally, I've still been joining J or Jujutsu Kaisen a lot and I'm still definitely gonna be watching on a week-to-week -week basis It's just really sad to see the community get so divided especially when this arc is really hyped up, and this is, I dare I say, when Jujutsu Kaisen gets to almost its peak. Um, it still gets better later on, but I mean, this is the arc that people have been talking about for so long and have been wanting to get animated. And I guess it is a little upsetting for diehard fans of the show to not be getting the full respect that they think that they deserve for Jujutsu Kaisen, but I think that under the circumstances, it's still incredible, and there's still a lot of good stuff to come out of this. 
I think it's just kind of interesting because this has been a thing in countless other animes. I mean, people have talked about it before in One Punch Man, JoJo's, and I think maybe even One Piece. And, you know, obviously with shows that are going on for so long and, you know, that they're, you know, under work and under pressure, a lot of studios are trying to get these episodes out and animators are doing the best they can. So I think it's important that we just kind of respect and understand that, you know, it's not like they're doing this intentionally. They're doing their best and they're trying to get out what they can in the amount of time that they're given. And I think that, you know, in due time, Jujutsu Kaisen is going to get, you know, fully the respect it deserves and, the, you know, the intense, um, the intense amount of, you know, work that's going to go into it will be put into it. And I think that it's going to be incredible and I think people need to just chill a bit and that it's going to be all peachy and gravy at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm still going to be watching Jitsu Kaisen. We're still going to be talking about it weekly. If you guys want to hear more info about our thoughts on the whole thing and what Ben has to say, we are going to be having a podcast coming out Tuesday. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that. And I love you guys. And I, uh, I'll see you all later. Make sure to watch Jitsu Kaisen. It's Pog. See you guys. Peace.